Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Royal representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever and she knew what was going on with the Jamaican community in LA at the time and Imani, King Imani, which is my stage name. I mean, we are performing all of the shows them and everything and, you know, them, them always did it. So the feedback always go back. So with that gain some importance in the community, yeah? And people that get to know we and thing. And so we move from one level to another now and stuff. And we sell are open like larger shows like them there because they're so, in the regular community at LA. The I, mm -hmm. the, the I did have... Um... The I did have recorded songs out there a play on radio and all of that. Not at that time. The only recorded songs I have at that time is, is when I go to the day of LA you know, and start moving and we meet like all certain producers to me meet this brethren called Jalai. Yardman, a 12 tribe brethren, Rasta youth. Yeah, and him did have him, him and his wife and him did a producer and actually have her out at the time she get for the shows around the country so more time she did in new york so him did a him, him, him see me on one show and perform at this village village room yeah big show you know me still have all the the the, the, the fly and all of them things there you know with beanie man and frisco kid and them time the shocking vibes them and mash down the whole of jamaica and everything and then come up on tour too and everything all of them did it and me meet him at a show there and one thing lead to another him and his wife did the and thing and him I said them love on my sound and love on my sing and rate it and we exchange number and me and him start move until him I say yo you're gonna need a single or two you know because him asked me if you have any music and me and tell him say no we're not record this song with us you know just a write and have demos so I even now I'm gonna record like what two songs with him yeah and him now get like them song you know one they call me awesome which was an original and they sing over the song where Black Street they call No Diggity. Yeah? And we record them two songs there. And then did I get the No Diggity a play? And they miss some mess occasionally did I play. On this radio station in earlier, we did I give me some exposure. So I saw now, you know, I, I moved to that level there. I just them recorded songs there, I do it. And then not too long after that, like a year or a year and a half after them, I run out to America and come straight to Bubba Camp because I got my calling. Ja? Rastafari. Rastafari. Yeah, man. Rastafari. So when you yeah. say you got your calling, um, what, 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 what go on? Um, they are never getting in trouble or anything uh, like that. No. Eh, eh, no, okay, man. Okay, eh, eh. okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing like that, but general. We never so, get deep. We never get deep like Marcus. No. They never deal with the like how they deal with Marcus. Yeah, but, eh, eh. We we'll come down, we we'll come down naturally because we get to calling, you know. I mean, it is shock them to when me I come to the airport and miss when me um supply them with my Jamaican passport. <laughs> and I remember the 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 virgin at the the counter in the airport and we give him the passport, we book the ticket and everything. And I'm looking at the passport. Him said to me, says, "Sir, um, how did you kind of have no visa in it? And I mean, I my Jamaican passport. And I mean, I thought the one with the chapel pan. Mm -hmm. You understand." I thought my original passport now, my, my brother sent it up, FedEx, FedEx it to me before him forward. You understand? Somebody did have it. You understand? So, when, so when I'm ready to leave now, General. I'm going to hand it to this bridge you now at the LAX airport and thing, you know. So I'm going to hand it to him, to it, hear him to me now. I just start, sir, how did you get into the country? So I said, I want to go home. And you know, say, three times the man asked me the said lightning ball question, and I gave him the said lightning ball answer, Bobo. And he said to me, say, all right, sir, I'll make sure you reach home, my lad. And I'm about the passport to the paperwork and everything. Listen to me, General. I said we're going to come down, General. When me land, uh, I, I'm now I'm in the International Airport and then receive my documents, the Jamaica documents. You know, sir, really, I truly, the immigration, they've never really said to me, they're just looking at a book and look for me. Yeah, and I think them, I, I don't remember if them the person stamp landing night or anything like that. That's some of our general panda. Me never get deeper or nothing. No trouble, nothing like that, honorable. Rastafari. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Because, like I say, it was a calling. I mean, me did I get frustrated in America. Frustrated in the sense, eh? I mean, me start questioning things on a deeper level. Me start questioning the music industry on a deeper level. Me start to question the governments, them. 
the th- all of the knowledge you when know, we used that question from my little them start to increase as me I get older in a life. You know, I mean my question every lightning ball thing general. Come on, want to know what go on. You understand? Come here and say then oh I'm, I'm remember while me and open these shows in LA, yeah? I mean the daughter will get me up on the show, this woman. And the people who govern the, the, the whole show business around in another region there, for that area. Them look at me and tell me, say, if I don't come from Jamaica with an album or with a name, you know, them can't do nothing for me. The most I can end up these are open shows, but I have to have an album. So right away, me and I search uh, the bridge name July, I start to work. I'm, uh, him start to tell me the same thing, say, I saw America run. You can't just come to America in a run like Jamaica. You can't do a single and expect to take off or two single or three single and one out of a bus. It in a run like that. For them thing is more packaged and organized. So if you have an album or you come from Jamaica with a name, it'll do better. So I never get to complete the album. You understand? I never get to complete the album man. I never get to complete other albums though. When I also initiated with some of them Californian producers there too. So I did a record some songs too. I did a run left them project there too. Because like me say, I'm on did I get my calling because while me I get all while me I do all of that, there was a deeper side of me which I want like like at the same time I make me know say bridging, be careful where you get yourself in you know, it's like me always have to check and a double check and a triple check if me I actually I do the right thing. Even though I'm a want to sing, I just start. I'm a no semi come for sing. You understand? I'm a no semi is a prophet. And me, I said, me are the next garnet silk. <laughs> God, and they killed garnet silk by December the 20th. By what? December the 10th, 1994. And me travel going to America September, October, them time there. When OJ seems to get charged for the for, for my wife murder and her, and her boyfriend. And him I run up and down in them cheap in the LA, one piece of thing at them time to be that America with all of them excitement. They are going to So, so yeah. So, me did I start to question the things them so deep and it reached a point where me I come you know what really triggered it to? You know, say so it's a studio, not a studio, this brethren, him name basic, him dead and all ja. Yeah? I mean, it's a brethren him have him sound the name after him too, basic. You understand? I mean at LA. Now when all of the youth them from Jamaica come come out LA, anyway, and everything, I him govern the weed thing. I him have the link for the weed, I him have link for all of the uh, the, the dub plate and the shoulder links them and everything because him set up like that and it established. Now we gotta go know that now and dead now and up on him sound a chant and a sing to with other youths to and thing and thing. But them time they know me start to wrap up my head now because I start to say me a bubble, me I tell myself say me a bubble. So watch you know, I start wear all the skull cap them and all them thing there until a book of artists round in. Well, me, me know him for quite a while, him named Junior P. He have recordings and they dip on Capital and all them. Capital Records at the one at the time too. And him think they kind of died down for a while. But him, you know, him still did try to rise back. Him think so him, they still in the, the thing. And we did it and we, uh, we do shows with him. We do all a couple songs with him too and everything. And, you know. So one day, I do run a basic with me and Junior P, you know, And the rest of you, them round there and thing. And the whole of we did it and thing. Ja, I just started me there round there and threw me so curious. And me interested in my money well now. Because me, I listen to the one Sizzler. I may mean, I say, I may mean, I listen to Capitan. And I mean, when I did America, I mean, I drive you now and I have the music when I play in my car, I, mean, I have a 90 minute cassette I play in a general. And I then, man, I, mean, I listen to straight run around the clock in a job because this was something when I was, I mean, the whole bubble shanty you now did arise in the music. And we are, we, we are, we are, we are get pulled to the energy of Rastafari and within the bubble shanty. And, to them do the music to me, aspire for the music. So myself, myself I come do the same thing to like them too. So what you know, it so happens now. Me I said then, I who teach all the ones is like him. We ain't get them words there. And me I said then when we are research now, we are find out says so like come spend time at bubble camp and out of all of them, I'm the only one they come a camp come seat up how much months. Go all stick bush me a year and all them. Me I say, yeah. Because what happened now, the brethren and him basic, me and him got kick off now because through me see the power oh, Emmanuel arise in a Jamaica while me the America, yeah? And it a pull me to at the set time too. One day now, me there on a basic now, I just start. And me there with basic, a basic same come from St. Thomas. And through me know St. Thomas, which for me there right now, I like when me look over the hill, the northeastern side of the hills and by my side, yeah, one mile away me there from one. 
from 11 Mile. You understand? So him say him come from St. Thomas. So true me want to know about him and he will know because I know if him come from them side of the world, yeah, he must know about this man. Yeah. The thing is that when me did Jamaica, I just understand, me only know about Marcus Giave. I only know about His Majesty. Because I read things on, on them bubble there. But when me hear Cable Tana say, Emmanuel live it every time. Me I say to myself, say, we keep it on a talk about, oh, which Emmanuel him a talk about? But me know, say, the Bible also refer to as Christ as Emmanuel, in a, but me ne, my, never did it so. It is somewhere else, which is, oh, me I refer, another figure I refer to, where there, he has a, a Jamaica, yeah. So me start to a pinpoint and I say, are Emmanuel from here? Come here, hear about where? I hear bad things, me hear about King Emmanuel and all these things, and I and mean, I say, could it be? I mean, I say, it did, I kind of did perplex over it because I never hear nothing good what them say about Emmanuel from me. I grow the few little time I do hear about this man, you understand? Even though when we did in my community and we used to see the bubble them, when the bubble them are passed to the broom, I always notice them how they humble. And them, them they even to talk. If you know, call them over and reason with them, they even to reason them, just go on them, then just focus on them on their own business, like, you know, that them program, you know, for, 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 for move through. As some see a bubble move, when it's used to say bubble. General, some of always fascinated by a bubble when we say bubble. So, me never to know nothing about Emmanuel. I went keep it and start to sing it. Now, me I say Emmanuel, leave it to me. I say Emmanuel. So, basic now, come from St. Thomas, me go ask him about Emmanuel now. You don't know what basically go look at me and tell me that I just start. Uh-uh. Me for left out of my yard. Yeah, if me come back around here with any more talk about this Emmanuel. No, this is a man who plays Sizzler. He play a keeper tan pan him sound. He have too much dub for them to call up Emmanuel name. He sell weed where Emmanuel won. Everything I Emmanuel. And yet still to him, sister, we a vibrate towards the bubble shanty levels their energy. Me don't know if I that make him angry or what, but the man get me mad the day, me get so angry. That's Junior P, the next bubble now, we in a turban look for me, he said to me, say, hey, man, I want to, you know, worry about them, man, they might eat that, they don't know, they don't know the thing in a job. But me did angry over it, come here, I said, my lord, how you mean? He must say, nobody come back round my yard, you know, with no more. I said, oh, you cannot, oh, you can say them things, my lord. You know, the man tell me, say, the man will tell me, say, the man will not shibble up and dead long time. The man tell me, no, God. And me, I said, oh, can you say that, Bobo? Look on the artist, they were revered, the man, the man in him song, you know, them song, Bobo. Oh, you can say these things, this man is most of importance, Bobo. You can't say these things, brethren. And I said, Junior people pulled me aside now and I said, I'm not even know them, man. They don't understand the thing, you know. The thing, you know, yeah. So, you man, that, that, take time and walk with me out of the youth yard. That virgin was a, uh, a virgin where we were turban? No, a ball of youth. Ball of youth. But okay. him, like me say, I'm saying, in sport, I hurt now. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like a year after you leave America, that happened. Mm hmm. Yeah, two things I'm going to ask you there still. Zane, because the eyes yeah. speak about the music, you know. And you are listening mm-hmm. Sizzler, you are listening um, Cape Town. Mm-hmm. But from earlier in, in the reasoning, the I did talk mm-hmm. about the music. I mean, did want to ask the I this now because it seems like, um, because I did want to ask the I what type of music was influencing the I at the time, why the I wanted to, mm-hmm. to sing. You see me, I say? Okay. But Mm-hmm. From the I mentioned Sizzler and Caperton now, I know say mm-hmm. reggae music was a big influence for the I, because the I speak mm-hmm. about Garnet Silk. The I did want to be the mm-hmm. next big thing mm-hmm. other than Garnet Silk. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. that I show me say now, um, the music mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. an influence. Influence. Zin, it yeah, have a man. strong influence. You see me, mm-hmm. I say? And mm-hmm. it can either make you want to become an artist, Zane, mm-hmm. or it might influence you to might do what the the actual lyrics are, are actually saying. Now, since Dan Capitan, them as you said, them speak about Emmanuel, Marcus, Gavi, mm-hmm. King Selassie. So, mm-hmm. with them saying that you are going to more be influenced um cause them a rasta them a bubble you are going more be mm-hmm. influenced as as a as a rasta you see you are mm-hmm. going want you are going mm-hmm. want more go in other direction there because what they must say mm-hmm. 
appealing to the eye and it has influenced the eye. You see mm-hmm. what I say? All mm-hmm. right. All right. Me just, me just want to say that still. Because later yeah. down, me go ask the eye. Um, yeah, certain things, yeah, man. Re- 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 regarding, regarding that still. But yeah, man. Of, that's going to come back up again. That's going yeah. to come back up again. Mm-hmm. So out of all mm-hmm. of the houses, them, Zane, mm-hmm. within Rastafari, Zane, mm-hmm. what really attract the eye to, to Bobo Shanti? Yep, good question. So the very same day when me I leave from around a basic street, I guess what happened to me? Me I walk about another mile from basic street to go to my um street apartment from Vernon Avenue. Yeah, Vernon and Western. Me did me remember the street, the cross street clearly. Yeah. And on my way to my little street apartment, yeah, you know what me do me go meet one bubble. Me see my juggle with some other bubble. Uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard and Third, yeah, right on the corner, yeah. And it's like right away when I see the bubble, they juggle the ball, bubble. May I tell you, say me, they're in my skull cap and thing. Just me left my ear, me, I, I say, me, I met my, me, I rasta man, me, I bubble, you know, me, I met my locks grow, you know, some start grow my nut, you know. So, anyway, you know, say me, I walk, go up and the guy that said to me, say, go straight to the bubble there. I'm going to go straight to the bubble, you know, so I'm going to go straight to the bubble. I'm a daddy and I'm get involved too, because you don't know, we play ball at Jamaica, so we love ball too, and we daddy and juggle and thing. But theme spirit did always different from all of them spirit. You more have this kind of leadership spirit right away, so. And they have the accent in my yard, man, but some of them wasn't yard, man. Some of them are from some other island, man, too. But him, him did more in spirit did different like and the spirit that tell me so if a link with him you see it so right away after we finish the little juggling and thing we start reason with him he might make me know the settings and I make me know say so yeah the water house firehouse him come from and he might tell me about bubble camp and and all of these things about bubble he lad right away we get excited honorable because we definitely need to hear something like this from someone off for the foundation because we are listening to music you know but we want to know where the source really there mm-hmm. so anyway see so we meet someone off of the foundation and he's a prophet seeing and we did a reason with him we did a reason with him and he must show me and me I tell us the honorable we start making it a regular meeting for meet with them because i'm always did like every sabbath you know, with a daddy and cause them they go on this place where it, it was like a restaurant, but it's it, it not in use. Yeah, but a couple of them have access to the place. So we, 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 we make it do a rendezvous area when we meet up and thing. And I saw no Mr. Get Culture from the Bobo, Bobo Camp and the whole Bobo Shanty movement, Honorable. Till me get all a 90 minute cassette with the money will attack. Honorable from the bridge and I'm a listen, a cassette, 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 I'm a you know, I mean, to the wheel to Emmanuel have a, um, a, a speech impediment, yeah, kind of sound like. Yeah. It's difficult to hear some of the things that Emmanuel has said. Mm-hmm. You understand? But when I could identify when they are listening to Emmanuel on the tape, is the first thing I said to myself, I said, oh, this is Emmanuel. Even if I say Emmanuel, oh, him cares so much. That come to me right away after me listening the very first time. I notice say, him have a lot of love and care. I say, him care for black people so much. So them things that used to strike me very hard about him. And I say, I'm listening more and more. It's like him open opening other recesses in yourself. And you say, deep and deep and the declarations them way him make. I mean, and then not only that, him sound, sound like me hear it already. It sound like me hear it already, meaning from either past lives, because you know we are all reincarnated beings. We lived already. We lived before. So what you know, it sound like someone who me know, or like I'm a long lost father who me really need for know. It indeed so very, very important for me know. I understand that's me cherish the tape in a general. Me cherish the tape honorable and I start to keep all the Sabbath and I couldn't keep it no more with the warrior them round there and me that dress up in my whites every Friday evening at six o'clock come and me make sure I load the road and all them things there I start holding it to them a little one room apartment my lord until I call the bridge you know the bubble and I tell him say you know say me I go back to Jamaica my lord and him say yeah and me I say where you are dealing 
me I say me I go in a bubble camp in a jar. Me I go a bubble camp jar. And so I said so that then I'm gonna do everything and save up some money and I may tell the general and send down some money to a bridging the bank a first installment of some money when I send so I can start something coming and walk come to Jamaica without nothing. Then you know say so I send like six hundred US and nearly seven hundred US first and tell a bridging say so for bank it for me. And did you know say so to the way I start to feel and how things start to behave in a LA with me? It's like the spirit that tells me, say, if you know, leave now, you know, chances are you mean and make it, you know. I just start, as them kind of feelings that start come over me, you know. I made have to send back for the 600 and buy a one way ticket and actually run. Actually run. Me did a run when I leave LA. Come a bubble camp. On a rebel, May 1999. Ja? Rastafari. Rastafari. So that's how I get my calling. I get a calling. I never get no vision. Like others would I get a vision and vision, Marcus Gavi, a vision, Emmanuel, me never get nothing like that, but me just know definitely, so I got to call me, me know, so me just listen to the call and come in because, as I say, the longer I stay there, I'm going to try and make some money for say I have something because I know them look down for Rastafari or Jamaica, I'm going to go down there just so. <laughs> so when when you reach at the when you reach at the camp, um, what was uh-huh. what, what, what was that like? Um, did it meet their expectation? Actually, actually, when my forward, my forward, like in the night, it may reach like seven o'clock in the night, and then I go back around a aunt, no, I go check on my bridge in Rona Gibbs Avenue in you know, the church re- region there, where I'm based. Yeah, and I oh, really gonna leave, yes, I leave my suitcase with him, right. I leave my suitcase to the man and tell him to me I grow on an auntie. So I grow on an auntie now. <laughs> and I call auntie. See, I call because I go inside when I should be gate or not me the outside. So I call and she hear me and she come out. And she say, are you that Richard? And I say, yeah, man. And like she say, yeah, you come back, sir. So you're not know, here to me now, no. so where you go? And, and auntie hold on the gate, like, you know, when somebody hold on and I block the way, them not leave it an inch or open to make you feel like you're welcome. Mm. So me then in the middle of the street, I talk to her while she hold on the gate up here, watch that. So she say, where you go and everything? So I say, bubble cam, me come for go, bubble cam, me come, man. She say, yeah, go to a bubble cam there. Yeah, that the mad place where they might kill people and all of them things there. And rare, 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 you know, you walk one out there. So I said to her, I said, I know them people that I got to. I know who I got to a bubble camp. Where is So I had already raised that thing. She said, okay. So I said, she doesn't look like she want to welcome me or nothing. I don't really want to go in because my auntie couldn't agree from me. So I said, well, like, so I got to show up myself for auntie. You know. So anyway, I just bless her and tell her, say, you know, I'm a day and you know, just come to heal her up. And I go back home and go spend the night in my bedroom place. And then the very following morning, I jump on a taxi. Right out of uh, Bubba Banks, this, uh, my lad, and go straight up to uh, Bubba Camp. I make the taxi drive, I go all the way up. And I come all the way up on the steep, up, but come up to the, the level where they, where they can stop and they have to walk like another 100 or 150 meters to reach up to the hill. And the entrance to the hill, my lad, where this arch, the red, gold, and green arch that also represents the firmament and the dome. Yeah? So, what you know? I want to go inside now and entered my lord and enter into the gatehouse. I think there was the priest, was Priest Richard. See him name like Matina Cha. Yes, honorable. And um them take me in them take me in. when we see the place actually the vibration it feel nice and calm and clean cause the place clean, you know. I mean it's nothing like outer road, you know. I mean it's actually earthy dependent, but the earth shine and smooth off, my lad. All the way as far as I can walk in the yard, general. But before me even get for walk go to further, be a talk about enter into the gate house, you know. This is the reception area when you forward into Bubble Camp now. So the priest uh, actually received me, as I say. I'm trying to remember his surname, but I know it's Richard and first name. Right? And I remember my culture, me too. Them ask me what my name, and them ask me what I do or what my profession, and them, you know, them also ask me why I'm a visit, I'm a break down all of that to them. You know, I'm a tell them, so i a singer, me a reggae singer, and all of them things there. I remember we did it for about an hour, a reason with them, because 
the vibration, what did that come over me? It did kind of overwhelming too because me the kind of schizophrenic to, you know. America, the kind of make me schizo. So me did, me did really want to leave my lord. And me never get, get over that schizophrenia until like five years down in a bubble shanty general. So me did see me did sick and ill. Yeah, and just, and knee therapy. So but when my father did it kind of overwhelming for no say. My reach, yeah, because all of me did I feel the pressure. Cause I feel like I stay another hour in that place, but I wouldn't get to leave honorable to the energy where did I come down from me. I could have feel all of the vibrations them. So I sort of have to get out. So when I come to Bubba Camp, I tell you the general, a whole heap of way that say all of that weight that means to feel it just take time and diminish. And it keep diminishing over the few years made up on the foundation. So yes, what I ex- what I saw was what I was expecting. When I came, See. honestly, I'm not going to tell you 100% because we're young in the thing, you know. We still learn as we go on, you know. But that, when we start to question things now, I went with the year now and I develop further in it. You understand? Yeah. So, um, so what, what, when, you, when you reach there, because you, 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 you reach there, which year? Uh, 99, me. 99. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was May the fourth or third, something like that. Rastafari. So when uh-huh. I reach, you know, things was as the I um expected. Z- yeah, yeah. In, yeah, be- I was more excited in r- arriving and reaching, may I tell you, honestly. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That did more excite me, yeah. Yes, I so they I build and become a become a priest. You know, from a yes, prophet I. to 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 a priest. Um, right. What was the transition like for the eye? Ah, that was that that was and still is still a transition. You know, it continues because I never even know say all that I was doing that transition from prophet to priest and being in the priesthood and being. And being a part of assisting in the whole ceremonial order, you know, to actually praise the true and living God. I never knew that all that we were doing all along was, was a sort of alchemy was going on. Everything that we was doing. I never knew. I, it's, it's after a while I started to realize that did God really created us to praise him? Because I noticed from when I come to Bubble Camp, I noticed we read Psalms every lightning ball day. Three times a day, morning, noon, and evening, my majesty. And seven psalms have to be read, my lord, for cut and clear, honorable. So in all, it's 21 psalms read during psalms reading. But after the first psalms reading, it starts at 5.30 a.m. in the morning and concludes at 6 o'clock with the hitting of the drum, seven strokes that also represent the seven seals. Yeah? That psalms reading goes also into automatically what is known as a roll call service honorable and three more psalms is read in that roll call service makes it 24 psalms so each hour of the day actually get a psalms every lightning ball day my lord so it kind of come to me while i was here when i study and i observed the whole ceremonial order from me as a prophet but i'm going to tell you the truth me never did take it that seriously when i came in because i was still have the music on my mind and was Instead of reading Psalms on a daily basis and building myself to the priesthood, I was actually aiming for the studio, which I was doing every day. And I did it for like 10 years and seldom to take part in the whole service order and everything until I found out that God never want me to do reggae. Ja! Rastafari. Rastafari. Yes, Honorable. So that whole upbringing, that whole upbringing, I mean, from 99 set to 2010. I mean, because I never get anointed until I actually leave reggae, you know. Yeah, I remember the priest, one of the priests in the gate house, when I just arrived, and would actually did their reason, and me I tell them some of the music, and comedy things say, um, the music was something that, yeah, God did design with a do one, because music, you know, nice and music, sweet, and everybody do music, but I never knew that God has his own music, and the devil has music also, different from God's. And they quite produce two different frequencies. I never knew these things. But anyway, while we're there and we are growing so, to the thing and we are going through there every day yeah. and everything. 
yeah you know and after a while after a while it's like i mean the priest them see the abilities uh, but me still insist them on one boss you understand because I feel I could have used the reggae. But in my mind's eye, I tell myself that I can use the reggae and do what I want to do with, 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 with my knowledge. Because I see myself as this person who actually have a work to come do. And I talk a work, a very huge work. I know that I come to do something for God because I always tell myself that God's business is my business. So it not feels strange to me in whatever I'm doing because I see myself I do these things. You understand? I mean, when I was in LA, For thousands of years, humans have been searching, studying the plants around us, working to create herbal healing solutions, blended with the best from Mother Nature, a gateway to healing and a better life. This is the answer. Flash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.